Little Tommy is a much-loved 12-year-old cat adopted from the Animal Welfare League by his very devoted mum and dad, Margaret and Danny, when he was already mature. But according to his mum, Margaret, Tommy also has a lot of behavioural problems that's often made him difficult to handle and treat. But behavioural problems aside, there was something else about Tommy that concerned the family. With the ears, he had um, visible flaking on his ear. Right. And we'd had it treated locally at least once, maybe twice, Mm. you know, where they burn off the thing. Yeah, with nitrogen. Yeah. But the last time that we went, it was a larger encrustation and the local vet said he thought that we should have a biopsy and turned out to be a cancer Mm. and that if it was left untreated, it would eventually kill him. As with most medical issues, there are a number of treatment options which Margaret and Danny considered. So you had to do something about it to save the animal's life. And the choices came down to three. One, you could use a cream, which it seemed to me not to be very easy to check how effective the cream was. And the second option was to cut his ear off. And the vet said that it would need to be a radical cut off, so um, right down to the head. Mm. And while an animal is not self-conscious about such matters, and the local vet said that it wouldn't interfere with his quality of life... Mm. It's a fairly radical thing to do, so that was an option, and it was about half the price of the radiotherapy. And as Margaret told us later, pets cost quite a bit of money to look after, and often decisions about their future is based solely on cost. The third one, which was the radiotherapy, Mm. which is a far less common method of cure, so the surgery and the radiotherapy are both regarded as curatives, but Danny in particular wanted to maintain Tommy's pink ears. You know, like (laughs) Tommy's an attractive cat in appearance, not so much in personality. (laughs) At times. (laughs) (laughs) So I was more inclined to go for the surgery and Danny was more inclined to go for the radiotherapy. But in the final analysis, you can't stick an ear back on if you change your mind. So I figured we'll give it a go, you know. So given the options and the fact Tommy has a number of behavioural issues... What did they think of the whole process? I think that the initial process was probably less traumatic for Tommy in that he didn't have to be there very long Mm. and that he didn't have a wound as such that we had to fiddle about with. It was a fairly clean and neat job initially. He just had some redness and a bit of rough skin. He's been back recently for another review and it looks like the cancer is gone. Excellent. So it's a positive result. Like Mm. overall, my view is that it's a good therapy. Well, Margaret and Danny obviously care greatly for Tommy and his overall well-being, haven't taken the radiation option, but what did they think of the man who suggested it, ARH radiation oncologist Dr David Lurie? I think he's personable, and I think he has experience in other countries in this field, so he's probably a fairly rare commodity in Australia in terms of background and experience. Yeah. So I found him easy to get on with. He likes animals, he's got animals himself, he's been through these sort of traumas with animals himself, with his own animals. So, you know, it's important for a vet to have that personal experience with an animal, in my opinion. Mm. I felt that he had empathy with our position as the pet owner. And no doubt Tommy, now clear of his cancerous ear problem, would say the same thing.